Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a shop owner that's offering a 20% discount, which is very nice, and that discount equals $3. So $3 off equals 20% off, but now we need to find the regular price. Well, that is going to be very important for us to set this up the correct way. So let's see if we can see how we can set this up. Our proportionality is going to always look like this. So when you get a part, over the whole or part over total that's going to be our ratio and we're always going to look at it as a fraction so we have our numerator and our denominator and that is going to equal our percent and so let's fill in what we have here we know that it's a 20 percent discount so that's pretty easy and the discount is three dollars so that means we're going to have a three dollar discount that's the part that's off. What we don't have is the total. And I'm just going to put this as a box right here. That's our missing amount right here. So 20% is 3 over our missing amount, our total amount. So we're going to treat this as equivalent fractions. And you might be thinking, well, 20% is not a fraction. Well, it's not that difficult to turn it into a fraction. If we're going from a percent, first we need to get it back into a decimal. So that means we're going to move the decimal two times. We're going to move it back to the left. That's how we go from a percent back to a decimal. So let's get our 20% right here. There is no decimal point in this 20%. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it after the ones place. So it's 20 point percent or 20.0 percent. And you move it twice to the left to get it back into a decimal. So 0 0.20, and you know what, we can just drop that 0 right there, we can just call it 2 tenths. So now we need to go from a decimal to a fraction, but you notice I even said what it is. Just read the place value. You can always drop zeros after decimals, so it's 2 tenths. So 2 tenths equals 20%. That's the same thing. We can even make reduce it further if we want it to one fifth, but this is going to work. It's not going to be that much more difficult. Equals three over our blank, our missing number here. So now we know that twenty percent is three dollars off of the total, but now we have equivalent fractions, and now we can use cross multiplication. So ten times three, that's going to be thirty, and then. 2 times our mystery number, well, that's unknown, so that's going to be 2 times our mystery number. Let's put a question mark there. So these two are equal now. So 30 equals 2 times our mystery number. And one thing we learn about algebra is that you can perform a, an operation on both sides of the equation, and as long as it's the same operation, the equation stays balanced. So I guess what we're going to do, we're going to divide both sides by 30 here. If we divide both sides by 30, well, that's going to uh, cancel those two outs. So we're going to get our mystery number by itself, and now we just have 30 divided by 2, so 30 cut in half. Well, that's going to be 15. So it looks like our answer is going to be $15. I see that right here. So how could we double check? Well, here's a quick uh, tip for you. So you see we have a 20% discount. Well, you can always find 10% by moving the decimal over once, right? So let's take 15. If it's $15, right, it would look like this. Whenever we want to find 10% or a tenth, since we have a base 10 number system, we just move the decimal once to the left. That's just a shortcut. So 10% of that $15 equals $1.50. Now you double that because doubling 10 gets you 20. And guess what you get? You get $3.